Well, here we are. This is the uh, the new Ruby DC 250 Expert 1550. Look at that, 61 inches long. Uh, if you look here, it shows you here if you're cutting a 110 by 110 size slab, uh, well, it'll, it'll cut over 43 inches at a diagonal. That's the best way of describing it. Then we've got the mitron uh, facility on here and we've got the plunge effect. So there we are. This is the way the plunge saw comes into itself. And this is this is the, probably one of the key features on here. The direct drive, it's got a direct drive. It's not about driven like the DX250 that I had myself. So there's there's the plunge facility. There we go. See it come up there now? Let's have a look now. That's off, there we are. There's your, your plunge facility. And then, I ain't gonna say what it's called because I can't remember, but this little piece here, I'm trying to remember the name. Um, it's, it'll distribute the water all over the, the, the blade, keeping the, 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 the blade nice and cool when cutting the porcelain. And you've got this guard here to make sure the water doesn't flick up beyond here. And of course you've got this piece on the side, which is a lot different from the last one. Um, not sure about that bit at the moment. Uh, we'll find out. But the main thing is the direct drive. This is a 110, okay? But direct drive, uh, making more accurate cutting. And of course, what it's got underneath, and there's one missing as it's arrived, just to show you, they've got these little feet which you can actually uh, adjust to make sure that your, your bed is nice and level. But look at the bed itself. Oh yeah, let me just show you this. This is the reservoir. The reservoir sits by itself, whereas the one before, the one before used to sit up underneath. And the other thing, of course, look how thick those legs are. A lot, lot better than the DX. They are really on the side. So basically with this handle here, you lift up and you just flick the legs underneath, but unclip these, these two here first and the one on that side. And then all you do is lift this. I'll be able to show you this when I get somebody to film me. And then they just fold up underneath. I've seen this being done quite easily, one man. But this is a really sturdy saw, um, without a doubt. Uh, the wheels, let me just show you the wheels on this side here. There they are. Look how big those wheels are in comparison to what was on here before, on the other one, the other saw rather. So they've really improved this saw on many levels uh, so you'll be able to push this around quite easily and get it in the back of the van by yourself so as i said it's a 110 got the plunge facility and uh look how they've made this bed up so you wait you're gonna have a separate reservoir and look at these look how they've done these now that triangulation format so it makes it a lot more stronger taking a lot more weight you'll be able to put on there you can see the section how it comes in and we've got that gal's bed underneath. You can see how the water runs down towards the reservoir. Here is the pump here. The pump very simply drops in the reservoir on the side, okay? So all the dirty water is down there, out of the way, okay? Not staying on your saw. It just runs down here. And just make sure you keep topping that up. And this little filter comes off. I can't do it with my left hand now, but... This filter comes off quite easily as well. So I think they've really thought about this. And the one thing I'm just so impressed with, obviously they've got the mitering facility. You better have, have a look at this now. This just comes over like that. Have a look around here. That's for your mitres. Okay, let's put that down over here now. Just do that up. We don't want anybody to have any accidents. Um, yeah, the rail. Look at the rail. Obviously this is like a what we call a bridge saw but this is three times the width this rail here what this saw runs up and down let me just see if it's undo that there we are there we are look at that look how wide and sturdy looking this rail is listen to the sound there's the plunge facility 110 and as I said, it's a direct drive, so it's not belt driven, giving a little bit more power. I wanted a 110 because it is gonna help if, yeah, God forbid, if you had an accident, it's gonna sort of shut down and not not gonna kill anyone, hopefully, with a bit of luck. But look, look how that slides along there. Nice and smooth. 
fantastically engineered uh, in Spain, in, in, in Catalan, I should say, the Catalan area, in, in Barcelona. Brilliant saw. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, let's get it going. Let's get it out there and uh, start cutting some porcelain.